What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Uh, this is the second episode of the world that I've been working on. I literally probably did the other episode hours ago or something like that. Uh, I literally, at the time I'm recording this, I haven't uploaded the other video yet, but uh, it will be uploaded soon, and that's the first video. But uh, we are stuck up here. I made some progress in the nether. I marked my position of where my home was, my nether home. And we found, and we were going to go look for the port. Actually, what we were going to do is, we were going to go find, we were going to go back to my house, put all my shit in the chest, kill myself, go back to the real world, and get shit out of Okay, I think we're safe, but basically what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to go back to my house, dump all the stuff in the chest, die, go back to the overworld, get some more shit, go back, mark the location for my nether portal, go back to my house, make another nether portal there. But instead, what we're going to do is, I found another nether portal thingy that was broken, and it's almost completed. So I'm going to go into this fortress, see if I can find... One more piece of obsidian, make a portal back home, go find my other house, and shit like that. So now we'll have three locations and three portals and stuff like that. So we're going to get inside of here. Oh my god, bro. We're going to try to find obsidian. Hopefully there's some in the chest. I just need literally one piece. So, like, literally. Oh, shit. Don't, if you, don't, oh, wait, hold up. If you do this, all right, so now we have a blaze thing as well. I'm trying to slide past these guys. Oh, shit, it's literally cut off. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, yeah. And then I'm going to get this. The video might cut out too, guys. I'm hoping it won't, though, but there's a chance it might. We do have a wooden pickaxe, but that's pretty much all we have left. Oh my god, where's this fortress at? Sh shouldn't I be, like, in the fortress right now? Alright, yeah, it's right there. I did have a diamond pickaxe, but one of my moron friends... I think has it or lost it and burnt it, so now I don't. <sighs> oh boy, guys. Well, let me make sure the video is, yeah, it's recording now. Damn, where is the entrance to this place? Hold up, I gotta go out here and see what's going on. Like, hold up. It's a nether fortress, so there would be more to it. I'm crouching right now, right? Yeah. Where the fuck is the rest of the thing? I'm confused, bro. There's, like... There's always more to it. It can't just be this blaze spawner. There's, that's... doesn't work like that. Alright. Well, we're gonna break this shit open. Oh my god, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh, this is so complicated. All I need is one more piece. And oh my shit. Where is this shit at, bro? Where am I? Oh, okay. There we go. So, um... Actually, hold on. All right, here's here's the rest of it. So it was actually above the area. All right, nice. We have a little entrance over there. <coughs> all I need is one piece of obsidian. That's literally all I need. So if this chest has it, then uh, yay. Please. Okay. That works. I kind of need some of this stuff. Um, kind of want the gold armor, so, leave that, damn bro, need, oh my god, dude, the gas, oh 
Shit. Fuck. I recorded it so I mark my position. Damn it, bro. I doubt I'm gonna be able to get to my stuff in time, but. <sighs> Damn it, bro. Didn't want that to happen. You know what? Forget this stuff. I don't care if it despawns. It's not that big of a deal, but. Uh, what I need to do is I need to get set up this time properly. I need to have at least one gold armor. So, uh, hmm. Hold up. Alright, hold up. What else do I need? Um, make a helmet. Um, hmm. I see, I do have two diamonds. But I swear I had a diamond pickaxe. So, okay, so grab that, grab that. I'm going to put all these axes together, combine them. Actually, we'll just leave them here for now and use this axe. And we'll grab this one as well. Um, hmm, trying to think what else we could do. Damn it, bro, I really had to fall down that one hole. I, was, I tried to jump it, but it didn't let me. I could have, oh my god, I just fucking killed myself. Uh, I guess we could work on the overworld a little bit here. Damn. I'm just mad, bro. I can go back to my outfit any time. My other stuff, that shit's gone. Let's face it. I'm not going to get back to that in time. So, What else do I need to do? You know, I'm going to work on the farm right now. So, let me go get a iron hat. I need to get the villager trades up. Also, what I want to do is... Actually, let's go chop, chop down some trees. Wait. Hold on, let's go to bed first. Uh, I want to make a fence around this and guard it and stuff like that. You'll see what I want to do. All my villagers, I'm pretty sure, died and shit, so kind of sucks. They got killed by the, uh, yeah, there's only three left. So what I need to do is I need to make my farm better. So I need to go over here. And I need to work on this village a lot, but... <coughs> Damn, bro, I'm sad. I'm, I just lost my diamond armor, too. It's no big deal once I get these trades going, but, like, it just fucking sucks. But, uh, let me see here. Okay, I'm gonna make an iron hoe just so it lasts longer. I mean, a normal hoe would be fine, but, like, iron hoe's fine, bro. It, it lasts longer. I know it's kind of a waste of iron, but who really cares? All right, we're going to make a big farm here. Make sure we have a lot of food going. Ugh. Damn, that was supposed to be like an awesome escape. <gasps> and I just completely failed. Also, the best transportation, we're going to make a transportation setup, another transportation setup so we can get across a little faster. We're also probably going to make a, uh, the, the boat transportation thing as well. There's like this speedy boat thing that you can do across the ice. We're going to do that, and I'm also going to do, um, the, uh, like I said, nether transportation. That's the best way. But I need to get a diamond pickaxe back first. Once I do that, I'll be pretty much set. But I'm going to probably get a diamond pickaxe from the villager trades instead of just going with the diamonds. Plus, we can get stuff a lot easier. And actually, I'm probably going to go mining soon as well, too. So I think we should get villagers trade set up, get my diamond pickaxe, get all that. Once we have a diamond pickaxe, we're good because 
I can get a bunch of obsidian. Actually, I can use buckets for that, but yeah, we could do that for now, but I do want a diamond pickaxe so I can mine it. And you can't use water in the nether, so I do need a diamond pickaxe for that. I had one. It just makes me mad. I had a diamond pickaxe, but one of my friends took it. Alright, we're going to get a lot of this. Hopefully as we get this world going, my friends don't want to play this world for some reason. I don't know why we were doing so good on it, but they just don't want to play for some reason. I don't, I don't understand. Why not? Alright, our care farm's kind of small at the moment. But uh, hopefully we can grow it some more. Alright, um... Sugar canes, we can now feed them. I'm probably going to build a house. So, really good house for this world. I'm probably going to do a lot of this off camera too because I don't really feel like recording every time I play Minecraft. I'll try to do as much as I can or at least the interesting stuff. Like when I go to the nether and fight the bad guys. Or, or like the pigment or whatever and then go to the end that's another thing I'm definitely recording <clears throat> we haven't fought the ender dragon yet in this world I'm hopefully getting, trying to get this world set up I did have another really good world but I deleted it by accident and we did really good on that world we have villager trade we had emeralds bro it was the best trading setup ever we emeralds were flying in we were getting emeralds like that like we had stacks of emeralds due to the villager trades and they were simple trades. And then we used the emeralds. And basically, we had a giant farm. A gigantic farm. Like, the, probably, probably like this, but a little bit bigger. I should maybe even make this bigger. But the key to it is you get a bunch of the farmers, right? You upgrade them fully. You upgrade the farmer villagers. Once you do that, you basically want to buy their emeralds off them with wheat. And it's only like 20 weeks, so it's a really good deal. And so they'll give you a bunch of emeralds. You keep doing that. You get a bunch of the villagers too, so like a bunch of farmers. Once you do that, you can get emeralds stacks, bro. And it, the bigger your farm is, the more villagers you have, the faster and more emeralds you get. And then you trade those emeralds in. But first, you got to fully upgrade the blacksmiths and the toolsmiths. Once you do that, they will eventually give you diamond armor. And their last two trades are either or last four trades or something like that is either it's like leather it's like leggings and boots or it's helmet and chest piece or something like that or it's one of the two sets or something like that and once you do that basically you can just get unlimited diamond armor like we were dude if you we died with diamond armor it was no big deal you could just go back and get it now I know netherite is in this and that's a really good ore but I don't know if the trades are going to change and you're going to be able to get nether right now. I don't know, but uh, diamond armor is still good with me. And netherite's probably going to be really tough to get. I mean, if we can get it, then yeah, great. But uh, if we can get the, our diamond armor, that's good enough for me. But as long as we have some good trades going. And then once I get my trades and my diamonds and all that... The, like, and I have a trade for a diamond pickaxe. I can keep getting diamond, diamond pickaxes for a low price. Use them, get obsidian, and we can start this nether hub thing. That's what my, that's what Nick is calling it. He's calling it the nether hub. It's like our best transportation. So, we're going to try to do that. Nick and Brandon want to do the other world, which you guys saw in the other video. They, I don't know why they want to do that so bad. The nethers changes in this world when it got updated, so... And we have a lot of good stuff in this world. They have diamond armor. I did have diamond armor, but I just died with it. I have boots in the chest in the nether area. But I gotta get some stuff back. But, uh, yeah, we got a lot of wood here. I'm probably gonna make a house and re reconstruct most of the village. So we're gonna get to that in a minute. It, we mainly, I gotta get my village and stuff set up. Once we do that, we're basically good, dude. You get the trades going, you get the village set up, you get a house and some enchantment things going uh basically i in my opinion it all depends on farm stuff like sugarcane bookshelf 
uh, wheat and carrots and stuff trades with villagers. Like, the best thing in Minecraft is actually the farm because if you use that, you can get so many good trades and you can get diamond armor, bro, easily, easily. You don't even have to go mining, bro. Like, we probably had stacks of diamond armor. I'm not joking, bro. We didn't cheat or anything. I'll show you the process, too. Right now, I only had three villagers, so it's a problem at the moment. But once we get some more villagers, should be set up. I didn't want him to go outside, so. Alright, it's whatever. But, uh, hopefully he'll go back in in a minute. Oh, wait. If I ring the bell, he should, so it's pretty speedy. Where is it? Okay, it's right here. Can I... Can I... Let me ring it closer. I don't know why he's not going inside. Oh, he went. Can you go inside, dude, please? I guess he thinks he's inside because he's right next to his bed, but I don't know. Alright, we're just gonna put that there. We could, I, I don't know, man. Hold up. I didn't want him to leave, but it's alright. Once you get a lot of villagers in here, the iron golems will start, start to spawn, but I'm gonna give this guy a bunch of bean roots. Alright. Alright, I'll give him some more. <coughs> that way they'll start making more villagers and stuff. There's not that many jobs at the moment, so I don't think we'll really start breeding, but. Oh my God, this is such a pain, bro. I hate doing this. Uh, right now I wanna make fences. That's what I wanna do. Around the villager hotel. Wait, how do we? I'm just gonna use this, cause it's easier. All right, we're gonna make a bunch of this, bunch of wood, plenty of wood. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a bunch of fences. I don't know why there's no sticks. Here we go, sticks. We're gonna get a bunch of them, and uh, we're gonna make a bunch of fences right now. Shit! All my torches burnt. That's great. Oh my god. So I have to do a lot of mining. I have to work on. Oh my god! I have a lot to do before I should even go to the Nether. Like seriously. Damn, bro. Alright, hold up. I'm gonna make a shovel as well. Where is the shovel? And then what else do we need to do? We need to... Uh, I need food. I, hold up, guys. Just give me a second. I need to make the villager jobs, too. Like, there's just so much I have to do. Like, I could explore the nether, but it's a lot better if I do this stuff first and get the farm set up and all that. Once I do all the hard and annoying and stupid stuff, then, dude, we're just going to be flowing. It's going to be easy. But right now, i got to get this stuff done. So, let me get all this. I'll make a lot of bread. Also, I need to make a um, animal farm. Once I do that, we'll be set. There's a baby zombie. Great. One of the t main problems I have is the raids and then the zombies kill my villagers, which is why I made a villager hotel. I'm trying to make it more guarded, protected, and better. <coughs> which I'm just going to make fences around it. It's my best way of doing that. That's how I do it every time. So, Oh my god, my game just lagged for a second there. Alright, that should be good for now. Oh shit. He spawned right in front of me. Alright, 
that. Um, can this villager go inside? Like, come on, bro. Oh my god, this is annoying, bro. All the stuff I have to do. Alright, so what I'm gonna do for this is first, I'm gonna dig a lot of dirt up. Actually, I probably have a couple of chests with dirt in it. How long is the video? Okay, the video is still going. That's pretty good. Um, do I not have any dirt? Okay, there we go. We got a couple stacks. Or a stack. Alright, we're going to take all this dirt right here. Pick some stuff up. Alright, we're just going to do this. Because I want it to be like flat around this area, so it's a little bit easier. Alright, All right. never mind. I thought I thought I had a hole down there before that I dug up. But... Alright, so we just made to make this whole area flat. This is probably going to be a bit of a boring episode so far besides the beginning, but. God, I really do want to explore more of the nether, but I just, there's like, there's elements that I need while I'm there. Well, I don't necessarily need them, but like, there's certain things that could really help me in situations that I wouldn't have to really worry about at all if I built this right off the bat. Alright. Uh, Like, I could just get diamond armor easily. Like, nothing. Like, it's not even a problem. So. Alright, there should be a villager here. Yeah, there is. He can come out. I don't really care. They can go inside. They can stay out here. I don't know what they want to do. Please go in. Please go in the house. Please. Please, just go on. Go inside. Thank you. Alright, I'm pushing back inside. It's probably not. Okay, wait. It's kind of close to the door. Alright, we're gonna go back inside with the plan. Yeah. Oh, goodbye. Okay, got that under control. Now I got all my villagers back inside. Okay, we're going to clear out some of this land as well. Alright, I think there's a villager over here somewhere that I might have left in a hole because of the raid, but I'm not looking for him right now. Imagine having silk touch on a golden shovel, dude, that would go so quick. Golden shovels break quick as shit, but like still, oh my god, bro. See, this is like the little trench that I had to make so I could get the villagers to go inside, but. Alright, so this is pretty good for now. So we're just gonna build probably about, I go like three or four blocks out. So somewhere around here. Alright, we're gonna make it one bigger. I also want to make a little trench. Probably. Actually, we're gonna make it out here. Actually, hold on. I'm trying to decide what, how big I want to make this. Alright, so one, two, three. Okay, we'll make it three big. That seems fine. And also, I want to get rid of most of these hills in the outside area, so just in case mobs come in, they won't be able to jump over the fences. 
I swear, the villagers are the main whack, bro. Like, they're just the main way to, like, survive in Minecraft. You, you get their trades up, you get everything going, you don't even have to go mining. Like, it's easy, bro. Villagers are the source. Also, I usually use fence gates for the doors so the villagers can't open them up. Sorry, I got hiccups, guys. There's a witch over there, so I'm gonna be careful. I'm actually gonna go fight him. So let's just go. Alright, I don't care if I have poison. It's all good. Also, want to make an animal farm, like I said. I think I said that earlier. So we need to get that going. How many blocks? Alright. Alright, uh, okay, so we make a bunch more of that. Alright, so set this up. So, just in case there's a raid, the raiders shouldn't spawn, like, directly. They'll spawn in the general area of where the villagers are, I'm pretty sure. So, if they won't spawn exactly, like, inside, though. And if they do, by the time I get this set up, there should be an iron golem. Iron golem will spawn within the area, so it's good. I won't even have to build it. And I'll probably build one myself anyway, so there's two protecting them, my own, and then... One that just spawns generally. So we'll have iron golems. I'll make sure they're within the fence gates. Plus iron golems are stupid and they run off. So I'm going to make sure they're inside the area to guard the villagers. And then <coughs> uh, we need to get rid of some of this stuff right here. This water. But, but for now we can just do that. I see a zombie over there but he can't get in. So I don't think at least. So we got that built. That's good. I don't know. Maybe I should make it two blocks tall. I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it one. But uh, this is good right here for now. I'm going to make a couple of openings. Probably one right here. Since it's already like that anyway. So. I'm just going to make like probably something like this so you know how to get in there's going to be an entrance here which I want to move that chest but for now we need to make her like I think you need sticks to make a fence gate as well okay good Okay, so we're setting this up good. We are 28 minutes into the video. Nice. We're kind of just building right now, guys. I know it's a little bit boring, but uh, we got that going. Um, I gotta put some of my stuff in another chest, so. I think I'm gonna make a chest around here as well, so. We got a chest right out front of the villager hotel. Dump any stuff we need out. We're also gonna have a couple bells around here so that the in case the villagers run out during the attack of a raid, we can make them go back inside. So we're just gonna dump some of this stuff in. We're gonna actually dump it all in for now because I need to grab the uh, the stuff from that one chest. So we need to get rid of this. Grab all the stuff. We're going to put it all in this chest right here. Alright, I wish I had, I swear, I just wish I had one more diamond. Alright, so now that we got that, I probably could just ask whoever has my diamond pickaxe for it back, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. But we're going to have it like that. So yeah, that's good. So that way we can get in 
on this little area. And I think, I don't know, should I have a trench here, like a small trench, just in case anything tries to get in here? Or should I just leave it out of this? Let me know in the comments. Like, I was thinking maybe I have a trench, so like, right here in the middle, and then a walkway to get in. Just in case any zombies get in, it's a little bit harder. And then maybe a trench out here as well somewhere. But, uh, you guys tell me what you think in the comments. I might put it, but I kind of am thinking about it, and like, maybe that's dumb. But, I don't know, it might help out a little bit, but, uh, we'll, we'll see how it does. But, um, hold up, give me a second, guys. Okay, uh... What do I need right now? Hold up. We need to make some bread. I totally forgot about that. Make some more bread. <coughs> okay. Uh, so we have that set up. And now we need to make another one at this end. Right here. It's going to be like kind of in front of the doors, but not too much. Alright, and then we're just going to build this right here. Fuck. And I'll probably make a third one in the middle. But this is really good, guys. This is good right here, what we have. Um, get some of that. Alright, now we're gonna... Okay, got it. Bam. Alright, nice. This is good so far. Landscape. Oh wait, I need two. Okay, I totally forgot. Alright, one there. Hold up. Alright, hold up. Alright. Actually, we're gonna make it directly in front of the doors, just like this one. Over here. I just want to move it over a little bit, so. This is good, though. This is really good. We have a nice setup for it. nice i wonder like it and then like how do you save a world there's got to be a way like you can transfer worlds and especially since the xbox one series x is coming out am i going to be able to transfer my worlds onto that oh i made it one off damn all right hold up all right we're just gonna damn i didn't make it mean to make it like that all right hold up so it needs to be Right here. Alright, we got it, guys. Alright, now that that's done. Alright, so we have that set up, and then what else do I need to do? I need to get food going. Okay. I also gotta kill some skeletons and stuff, guys. I'm not really worried about my stuff in Nether because I Nether because I can always the like the world's infinite, bro. It's infinite. Well, it's technically not infinite, but like you're not gonna run out of supplies. And then the Nether is I think that just goes on forever, pretty much. I don't know something like that. But um, what am I missing? What was I about to do? I always forget. Okay, so we're gonna give a bunch of this wheat and carrots and stuff to the villagers, get them to breed in a little bit. I wanna make their jobs as well. So I'm probably gonna end this video quite soon. Cause I just want to work on building it. And I'm gonna do the rest of it off screen cause uh, I have to use my freaking brain to do it. figure out what jobs and how to do it and go find the fucking blocks to do it and it's annoying. So alright, but we're gonna
I also want to get, like I said, I want to get some skeletons to get their bones for bone meal. Dude, dude like, uh, we should, before, when we go to the end, we should have a dog army. Like, it's literally possible in this game. Dude, we're going to have full, by the time we go to the end, we're going to have full diamond armor and an armor of dogs. I'm guaranteeing you right now. I'll guarantee you of it, bro. We're going to have all the dogs and we're going to have full diamond armor. Wait, are these fully grown? Okay, that one is. It's gonna be awesome. I'm thinking about making um a uh, automatic farm, but I just kind of waste the time. It's tiring and stuff like that, bro. Like it takes a lot of work to make. And I already have a good farm here, so like, why would I do that? It, all we gotta do is dig it up for three seconds, and then it's done. I mean, I probably will eventually make that, but right now, it's not a necessity. So. <coughs> Alright. Carrots are finally starting to grow out. Carrots are the main thing that I use for trading. I think they like the best. But, uh, yeah, look at all. And we'll have plenty of food because the farms is just is a good source of food. I mean, it's not the best. Steak and meat is better, but it's pretty good. And then, uh, you have, um, the, the, the villager trades, so it's like really good. It's evened out too. You can use it to eat food and then you can use it for the villager trades. I prefer to play on hard because I feel like it's just more of a challenge. It's cooler, it's funner. It's just like hardcore, nah, because uh, I don't want to die and then lose my whole world. But you can't do that on Xbox, I don't think, anyway. But um, it's just, I like it on hard. It's more fun, challenging. If you're on easier, peaceful, like, what's the point? It's just boring. You can just do everything so easily. And it just doesn't make the game fun. Like, at least you might die here and there. Like, the challenge. Like, you know? It's, uh, it's good. It's good. But, uh, yeah. We got the farm going. Almost done. Uh, we are 38 minutes into this video. I haven't really done that much. Sorry, it's been a bit of a boring video, guys. But thanks for watching if you did. Or at least watch some of that. That'd be nice. Oh wait, is this like, oh wait, no. no. I'm just gonna take these carrots because they're not, my friend Nick made it just a little bit weirder for some reason, I don't know why. Alright, there we go. I might make it bigger, but at the moment it's fine how it is. Oh wait, how many sections do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and I think it's seven blocks across here. So that's pretty good. We get a lot from that. And then, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to end the video here, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this video was a little bit boring, but uh, it's going to get more interesting in the future Minecraft videos. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, um, tell me what you thought. Tell me what you think I should do in this world. Uh, it's going to get adventures, though. We're going to get set up once I do all the boring-ass shit, like get all my villagers, breed it, and the villager hotels 
hotels going and I have the farms going, dude. We're gonna get diamond armor easily. We're gonna get diamond tools easily. We're gonna go to the nether, get stuff easily. We're gonna have nether hubs. We're gonna have transportation across the map easily. We're gonna we're we're gonna ride those strider things across the lava. We're gonna get an army of dogs. We're gonna go to the nether the end, fight the ender dragon. We're gonna fight the wither. We're gonna go to the end city and explore more. It's gonna be really good. It's gonna get interesting. We're gonna have elytras and we're gonna use fireworks to fly across the entire map. It's gonna get good guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Also, links in the description for my Instagram, my friend's Instagram, uh, our main Instagram should be in the description, like I just said. Um, also, Discord server link will be in the description as well, as well as my Twitch link. You can watch my Twitch. Uh, I'm not doing that good on my Twitch right now. I mean, I'm doing okay. I only have 18 followers at the moment, but my YouTube is doing so much better than my Twitch. Uh, I have 88 subscribers on YouTube right now so I'm so happy bro I'm almost at a hundred I can probably up it up soon and we'll have a hundred I'll do some cool for the special and then also my Instagram's doing good I'm at like 650 followers on there and uh, the more people I get knowing my stuff the better my reputation gets I can do more cool stuff more content and it'll just get really cool and then maybe in the future I'll be able to make some uh some a bit of a living off of twitch and youtube i can make some merch and stuff like that like other youtubers do and all that but um uh right now st we're starting out we're small we don't have much at the moment i only have a i'm about to only have a hundred but uh in a couple of years probably look back and uh yeah it'll be awesome but thank you guys so much for watching like i said like subscribe and leave a comment bro and also hit the bell that would be nice put on the bell uh, so you get notifications. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.